Hello and welcome to this episode of The Effects Loop. I'm your host, Jay Byrne. I have my and assistant your, with... You have to stand back there. The camera is not going to see your, you. And I am your... And I am your pre-host, yes. Alice Byrne. Otherwise known as a nickname Flame. All right. All right. So, what are we doing today? Today is actually a new guitar day. We're doing an unboxing. New guitar day. I haven't unboxed a guitar in quite a long time. Not even the last one, which is what led to this one. So, let me just get that quick story out of the way. I bought the Music Man, the JP60, the uh, Sterling by Music Man guitar. I stand by everything I said about that guitar. I really liked it. It was a cool guitar. I would have kept it if it didn't develop some random problem with the pickups. The pickups started acting up. I don't know if it was a wire, if it was if it was the bridge pickup. I don't know what the deal was. It was still within its return period, so I wasn't going to no, deal with it. Hold on. I wasn't going to deal with it. So I decided, well, if I got to do this, then I am having Guitar Center order the guitar that I went in there to buy in the first place, the guitar I wanted, which is in this box, which I am going to unbox no. now. Now, okay, I ordered this from Guitar Center. They had it shipped from their warehouse. It showed up in this plain cardboard box. So let's just see, this is an interesting thing here. Let's see if the real box is inside this box or if they just took this off a shelf somewhere and packaged it in the box. Which I won't be too happy about because I paid brand new price for this guitar. However... Because sometimes the people just are like, Oh, I don't care if this is wrong or... Is it doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means that it's not brand new like they say it's brand new. Like it could have been bought. But as long as the guitar is not damaged and there's nothing wrong with it, I'm not going to have an issue. But we won't know that until we get the box open. So... All right, what is in this box? Is it just a guitar wrapped in padding, or is it another Can box? Can I do the final one? Can we go? Let's find out. Three, two, one. <gasps> hey! Hey! All right, the Jackson box is inside this box, which is pretty awesome. All right, cool, 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 cool. There is another box inside. So that means it's brand new in the box. This guitar has never been opened. I ended up going with... The Apple Red. I got a Jackson, which is what I originally wanted. This is not the easiest thing to take out of the box here. Alice, can you pull that box out from underneath me without um, banging up the thing? This guitar was packaged from Jackson. It's sealed and it says Jackson. Let's see. I'm curious if the box itself anywhere. Hope you get it. It is. It's in here. Oh, how do you know? Uh, how do you it's Jackson. know? All right. Okay, so 2 one Yeah, I see So it. February 1st, 2023, this guitar was shipped to Guitar Center's warehouse. So this guitar has not been sitting in Guitar Center's warehouse for like five years. This just showed up. Good. So, okay. All right, Does this, uh, it has to be opened from here. Mommy can join the video if she'd like. You can come and One, come into our boxing. Thanks. Yeah. I was a little bit dis... I was a little bit... Okay, UPS delivered this. They did not knock on my door. They did not ring my doorbell. If you want to get in the video, get over I here. Just, I just put my head in. They did yes. not Hello, knock on everyone. the door. That is my wife, Katie. Uh, she's never... Actually, I don't think you've ever been in any of the videos. Because um, you're always working when I shoot the videos. Uh, they did not knock on the door. Watch out, Alice. And they did not ring the doorbell. Really? I checked the shipping thing, and it said... Guitar at rear door. Left at <gasps> rear door. They left oh. it outside in the freaking rain behind in the house. In the rain. Not to say that we live in the ghetto, but... There's people we that live would, in the ghetto. we've had stuff stolen before. Okay. Let's hope there's nothing broken. Three, two, two one. one. Oh, I Wait, see hold on, hold on. Red. I see that. It's upside down, but I see that. It's upside down. And it looks shiny. Looks and it looks good. good. Watch out. Let's go. Let's get this stuff off. Oh, look at that. All right, we ready? I'm going to take it out. Is it heavy or light? Um, it's actually lighter than I expected. Can I hold it? I'll, I'll, when I get to get it out of the box. Okay. Oh, it looks it does a little see dusty. Okay, let's get this thing open. I can see the autograph. Oh, yeah. 
This is sweet. Oh yeah. All right, so it's got all the tags on it and everything, which means it's brand new. Oh wow. This neck is really good. Can you feel it? I feel that. Well, you know, this you go like this. There's no there's no spiky frets. Nothing that sticks out and pokes your finger. And it's literally so smooth. Yeah, it's cold because it just came in from the outside, but all right. So I am. Can I try holding it? I will in a second. A rather pretty deep. Just wait, watch out. That comes off. I am a pretty big fan. I'm gonna have to tighten that. You can tighten that. That's not a big deal. That's just. That's loose. something that can be fixed. That's just something I gotta That's tighten. Something. This thing is cold because it's been in a warehouse for a while. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of the band Anthrax, and this is where's it signed? It's not signed. Alice oh. knows an Anthrax song. Look, see, it's got a little. Look. It's like a fake signature, but this is well, a. Will you back up so I can show the camera. Well, the freaking thing. Um. This thing is cold. It's been in a cold. It's got it's covered in condensation. I am a big fan of Anthrax, and this is a Scott Ian King V Signature Series guitar from Jackson. So here it is, Scott Ian King V. This thing is freaking cool looking, and I'm very excited to try it out. Although it needs to be wiped down, and I need to tighten some bolts and screws before I can even attempt to do that. My wife just showed up with donuts, so now my daughter does not care about doing this anymore. They do not even give you an Allen. Oh, here we go. Hey, here we are. Good. I was hoping it came with at least the Allen key and the Allen wrench. This is brand new in the box, so it should have it. So, all right, cool. It's got that. So, yes, I'm excited. I'm excited to try this thingy out. These tuners feel pretty solid from what I can tell right now. This neck feels really good. Don't get freaking donut all over my new guitar, please. Mm. That's good. This needs to be uh, opened up and tightened up, but that's, that, that won't be too hard to fix. Deal with. It's just loose. It's like a loose screw, basically. There it is. It's here. And once I get this thing cleaned up and ready to go, I will shoot some video of what it sounds like when I first plug it in. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to mess with it until I plug it in. So. I wanted to make one more little comment, kind of like uh, a point to this video, other than just an unboxing, because I wanted to make it a little bit more of a video than just an unboxing. What I wanted to do with this is I've been reading a lot of comments online about, about mid-tier level guitars being garbage, okay? And I don't know about you, but there ain't nothing garbage about this right now. This is a good weight, it's not super heavy. I mean, the fretboard is perfect, as far as I can tell right now. I haven't tested anything out. I have a feeling the action's gonna be good, it's gonna play good, it's gonna feel good. It feels good right now, just messing around with it. But all of this, you know, all of these gear center, uh, these gear page posts, which I know the gear page can be a negative place. It's, it's negative by nature at times. However, you can get a lot of good information from the gear page. But you see a lot of these posts about how mid-level guitars are essentially garbage. And by mid-level, they mean anything under $1,000. Now this was, this is an $800 guitar. I paid 720 because I got 10% off because of the trade-ins that I did. Uh, well, with taxes, it was more like 750, but like 760 or so. But yeah, so this is considered a mid-tier level guitar, okay? Well, I don't particularly see anything wrong with that. To be honest with you, most, all of my guitars, none of them have cost more than like eight or $900. And that's retail. I have paid less in most cases. I've gotten a sale or a deal or sold some stuff and gotten like 10% off. So, I don't fully agree with this concept that you can't get a good guitar for under $1,000 because I think right now is the, it's a great time for good, I mean I've got a 200, I paid $250 for a Squire Strat which is awesome, okay? A 50 Strat. Now those are $500 guitars. I got it for $250 on sale, but it's an awesome guitar, okay? I don't think that 
a person should be afraid to buy something under $1,000. But be aware that when you get it, there may be some setup work that needs to be done. There may be a few things that need to be tightened and fixed. You know, it's not coming from the custom shop, basically. So it will be, yeah, that. Um, yes, you guys sit in there while I'm trying to talk. Yeah. But anyway, that's kind of like my little rant that I wanted to have in this video. Um, yeah, under most circumstances, you can get a decent guitar for under $1,000. Maybe you won't like the pickups, maybe you want to fix something, maybe you will just like it just the way it is and you'll be perfectly fine with it. So, anyway, whatever. This, I have literally done nothing to this guitar other than, where is the, oh, this is a weird spot for a, a strap. It's going to seem rather high on me right now because <laughs> of the way I have it set up. But, uh, I've done nothing with this guitar other than, I like, let my fingers tighten that thing right there. I will say these tuners feel pretty solid right now. Uh, the neck definitely needs a little bit of a little bit of tweaking, and and the top string and uh, the action is definitely going to have to go up a little bit. But I'm not going to mess with that right now because this is just a straight up initial test of the guitar to see what it sounds like. So. some intonation and tuning and neck feels really nice actually um right out of the box it's not terrible That's what we got. That's what it sounds like. It definitely needs adjustments as far as strings and tuning and... Definitely needs to be tuned and, and straightened up. right now it needs to be set up <laughs> but <laughs> the neck feels good the action is really good and sounding pretty good to my ears right now as far as this is concerned um, we've got three pickup selections here's our middle bridge uh, neck Thank you. 
I mean, technically, you mostly use a guitar like this for the bridge, but it's nice to know that they're all there and they're all usable. So, there it is. Scott Ian King V. I will definitely do a more in-depth video on this in the future, but for now, <coughs> this is this. Um, if you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, um, yeah, <laughs> check out my videos, I'm Jay Byrne, uh, I'll see you next time, this has been the Effects Loop, take care.